become it. In the realm of the do-it, where the souls of the departed ventured after their mortal lives, the reputation of Amit, the devourer of hearts, was one of dread and trepidation. As the guardian of cosmic balance, Amit was tasked with weighing the hearts of the deceased against the feather of Mott, the goddess of truth and justice. If the heart was found to be heavy with sin, Amit would consume it, condemning the soul to eternal oblivion. Among those awaiting their judgment was a young scribe named Aiken. Aiken had lived a life of relative virtue, meticulously adhering to the laws and customs of his society. However, he harbored a deep-seated fear of Amit, believing that even the slightest imperfection in his heart would seal his fate. As Aiken's turn came, he approached the scales of Marat with trembling hands. As his heart was placed on one side of the balance, a sense of dread washed over him. Surely, his heart would be found wanting, and he would be cast into the clutches of the devourer. But to Aiken's astonishment, the scales remained perfectly balanced. The feather of Mott did not waver, indicating that his heart was pure. As he looked up, expecting to see a look of satisfaction on Amit's face, he was met with a gaze of compassion. Your heart is indeed pure, Aiken, Amit said in a gentle voice. But there is more to judgment than the absence of sin. True purity comes from the cultivation of compassion and selflessness. Amit then explained that while Aiken had lived a life free from wrongdoing, he had also lived a life devoid of empathy and understanding. He had focused on his own righteousness, neglecting the needs of those around him. If you are to truly achieve balance, Aiken, Amit said, you must learn to open your heart to others. You must strive to understand their pain and suffering, and offer them kindness and compassion. Inspired by Amit's words, Aiken embarked on a transformative journey. He sought out those who were less fortunate, offering them his time, energy, and resources. He learned to listen without judgment, and to offer support without expecting anything in return. As Aiken's acts of compassion grew, he felt a lightness in his heart that he had never known before. The fear that had once gripped him melted away, replaced by a sense of peace and fulfillment. When Aiken once again stood before the scales of Maat, his heart was not merely pure but radiant with compassion. The feather of Mott rose high above the balance, indicating that his soul had achieved true equilibrium. Amet smiled warmly at Aiken. You have learned the true meaning of purity, she said. Your heart is now a beacon of light in the do-it. Go forth and continue to spread compassion and understanding wherever you go. From that day forward, Aiken became known as the compassionate scribe. His acts of kindness and selflessness inspired others to follow in his footsteps, creating a ripple effect of positivity that spread throughout the realm of the do-it.